Cover every inch of this side, down to the reservoir. And look, more than one of our guys went out the hard way today. So if you pick up Van Duff or any of the other escaped convicts, remember the warden said dead or alive, and he didn't say which. All right, spread out. Still on the slope? Yeah, I'm here. They're coming down a dry wash about 100 yards below you. I think the big one is Red Henry, and the other one is Van Duff. Move over on the ledge. You should be able to see them. Two more off your list, Mac. Expect me to look after laying in the sun for hours with ants and lizards crawling all over me. We'll cut you in on this deal, Quinn. No, and I cut myself in. He came out with Buck Walters. Only Buck didn't make it. I don't need any interpreter. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Yeah. How did you find out about this place? Buck. What happened to him? He caught it going over the wall. That's what happens when you don't trust a man. He made me go first. Oh, that smart guy, never mind. I never did like you. You talk too fast and too much. But you're here, and there's nothing I can do about it right now. But you better watch your step, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Never mind him. Did you get the eats? No. I never connected with Whitey. He got it coming out of the commissary. Did you bring the gun? Where'd you get that? I picked it up when I came through Meepo Richards' office. Smart boy. What are you gonna do about the eats? Nothing. We're gonna get used to the idea of being hungry for the next three days. Why three days? Why can't we blow tonight? Two hours, we'd be across the state line. Or dead. Never wants to go, go. Never wants to stay, stay. No. I don't care what happens to any of you monkeys once you get out of here. But no one leaves this place before the next guy. 
Any one of you wandering out in that pig hunt can bring it down on the heads of all the rest of us. So we're staying here together. And that means three days. Even if your bellies turn inside out. You're my buddy, so I give you this break. I tell you about this hideout. Something nobody else in the whole world knows about except me. And that's why we're the only guys who are ever going to make it out of here. Because we got a place to dig in until the hunt fans out of here, until it spreads out of this valley. It figures for them, don't it? After covering every inch that we can't be here no more. So tomorrow they look on the other side of the hills. And the next day further away. And the day after that we walk out of here, standing up. So it's three days. And I want all of you to remember that. And I want all of you to remember that I'm the guy that got you here and give you this chance. And you're going to listen to the guy who knows what he's talking about. And that's me. Fever's way up. Hey, you think maybe he won't be ready to go when we go? Who knows? Think of the car. Eighteen months in the same cell with this crumb and a pack of cards, and now we're out and he's still at it. Come on, come on. Jack of spades. Yeah. Think of it up. Jack of spades. You sure? Yeah. Wild animals the way they're hunting Maybe we are. What's the matter, kid? Oh, I don't know. I thought once I was out, everything would be great. Isn't it? Are you kidding? I've never been so miserable in my life. I'm cold, hungry. The worst of all. You're scared. Yeah, I'm scared. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Lose yourself in the crowd, same as the rest of us. Well, it's easy for a guy like you, Joe. You know how to get around. You're smart. Oh, no, I'm the original boy wonder. I'm the only guy in the history of banking made two and two add up to seven. Why you make the break, if you feel like this? Why you crash out? Same reason you all did, I suppose. To be free. Listen, kid. I went over the wall because I got a lot of lost time to make up with lots of very, very lucky women. I know a couple of words like baby doll, sweetie pie, I ain't used for a long time. If I get one day on the outside, just one day, I'll be satisfied. Well, I know one thing. First chance I get, I'm going to start clean. Stop kidding yourself. The only way we can get anything out of life is to grab it and run. Well, some guys are going out and stayed out. You killed a man, Billy. It was an accident. Well, you still killed a man. All the promises you make to yourself a society won't change a thing. Joe, the kid, Monk, Swanee, Vine, even me, we all lifers, but not you, Joe. A couple of years, you could have walked out the front door with a blue serge suit and a $10 bill. Why you go over the wall with us? How far will 10 bucks take you? You think a con could go back and pick up where he left off? We're branded convict. All the soap and water in the world won't wash it off. program to bring you the latest views on today's startling prison break. Of the 30
38 convicts that broke out, six are still unaccounted for. Their descriptions are as follows. Vance Morgan Duff, serving a life sentence for murder in connection with the armed robbery of the Lakeville, California National Bank several years ago. He has brown hair. He is 5 feet 10 inches tall, stocky build, weighing approximately 200 pounds. Luther Remsen, alias Swanee Rawlins, alias Reverend Remington, serving a life term for the celebrated soul-saving murder of Esther Haylock, organist in the community church at Mountain Home, Colorado, a few years ago. Yeah, we all know what we look like. They want us back. Why? We give them nothing but trouble. Has anybody ever told me I'd miss that slop they feed us in that boot cow? I ghoul him, but I miss it. Oh, I miss Stop talking about eating, otherwise we get dopey like you. Joe, hmm. what are you going to do when you get out? I mean, out of here. First thing I'm going to do is eat like bust. I know what you're going to do. You told me you're going to eat like a pig. Who asked you? I'm talking to Joe over here. What? Hmm? Well, I guess I'll go to work on the bankroll department. Can't move around much without any scratch, and I got a lot of moving around to do. You see, I got a son. Yeah, he should be about seven years old now. He wasn't born yet when I got sent up. You know, I, I've never even seen him. Don't even know where he is. Ain't he with his mother? Nah, she divorced me and dumped him about the same time. Hmm, he's a nice girl. Ah, uh -huh, they're all nice. You said it, kid. Be like me. Next time, make them go crazy for you, then I spit in their eye. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. I'll remember that. It works. Every time. Believe me. In Phoenix was a girl. She's still there, waiting for me. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to marry me. Uh, I spit in her eye. In Mexico was one. Oh, boy. Ha! She was a beauty. She put in a hook. But I had to run away across the border. You know what that crazy thing do? She jumped the border right after. She had a million coppers on her tail. I had to lose her, you understand? I was on the land myself. In Chicago! Ah, oh, shut up! On an empty stomach, I can't take no more. For years, you've been gassing about them dames of yours. Take a good look in a mirror at yourself. What dame would ever go crazy for you? Only way you'd ever get abroad with plenty of that long green. And then only if she ain't too particular, so shut up! Not one, not two, but dozens go crazy for me. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? I spit in their eye, all of them, like I said. And you know why? Because I got class! Yeah. Don't ah me, you stupid pig! Won't you? Play off, Mark thinks it's tough enough. Show him! I, I get excited. That's foolish, very foolish, like, like my mother used to say. She always told me, you get excited, somebody get hurt. Your mother was right. Uh, my mother, she was a wonderful woman. Yeah, she was a wonderful woman. Well, uh, where was I? Jumping the border with a senorita hot on your trail. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When she look at me, she lose her mind. Complete. Ian's dying. He's a sinner. I gotta baptize him. I'll help you, Swanee, if you want me. I'd be obliged. Uh, you'll have to tell me what to do. I haven't had much experience with this sort of thing. Just take his arm. To it? I reckon so. You think it'd do him any good? This? I don't know about his soul, but it might help his fever. What if he dies? 
then it will be dead. Like my mother always told me, in the end, everything works out for the best. Has it? I don't know, I ain't got to the end yet. What's up? Huh? What? That blue plate special just went by. Huh? Did you ever hear of a rabbit stew? Or a fried rabbit? Maybe even boiled rabbit? That could be a pretty expensive meal. That whole countryside swarming with cops. I don't care. I'm hungry. I'm going out. He's wasting his time. Because no rabbit is born that hasn't got more brains than him. The trouble. That's it. There ain't none. Nowhere. Look. They must have moved on faster than Van figured. Right. Let's go. Pete, Billy, get out! What's up? We're getting out of here. There isn't a cop within 20 miles. Van. Van, they're getting out. You won't make it. It's too soon. Maybe not, but we'll take the chance. We stay here much longer. We go worse than stir crazy. We go real crazy. Wait till tomorrow night. I'll be better then. I'm a lot better now. You're kidding yourself, Van. You've been getting worse. The next time your fever goes up... Well, this is it. So long. Good luck. Wait. Help me. Don't leave me here. Figure out some way to get me a doctor. Make it strictly business. It'll be worth your while. Huh. He means a Lakeville bank, though. Isn't that right, Van? Yeah, that's it. Get me the doctor. Help me to get where it's stashed. You'll all be cut in. Nah, it's too tough. Let's get out Come of here. On. You're such smart guys. What do you think you'll be even if you do make it out of here? A bunch of broke cons. Without a nickel in them monkey suits, how long do you think you'll last? How long? But split 80 grand five ways. Six. Yeah, you got a head start. You can operate. Think about it, you monkeys, before you walk out on me. I'd settle for a Denver sandwich now. Let's get going. Wait a minute. Maybe he's right. Where would we go without dough? Are you going to buy? We're going to have to play nice, maiden, all the way. I know that, but I need the dough. We all do. Sometimes a guy will do anything for dough. You think there's really that much, 80 grand? I think there's more than 80 grand. You wouldn't hold out on your buddies, would you, Van? All right. It's 180 grand. That's better. We split the whole bundle six ways. Yeah. How far is it from here? Two, three days. All right. If we're careful, we'll make it. I'm in. Yeah, well, me too. You hear, Van? All of you. Monk? Yeah. Everybody else goes in? I'll take the ride. Let's get this, Van. This is a level deal. We all belong to one tight little club, and nobody leaves a membership until we get there. Isn't that right, Van? That's right, Joe. A level deal. Can you send a doctor? Yeah. She's ringing. Hello? Yes? 
Yes, this is Dr. Baum speaking. All right, connect me. What? Way out there? Well, all right, I'll make it as soon as I possibly can. Right. I have to go out again, Sarah. There's been an accident at Grover's gas station. A car slipped off a jack and crushed a fellow's arm. Don't be late. I'll put some coffee on for you. All right, dear. Don't uh, wait up for me. Are you the doc? Yes, where's the injured man? Not far, come with me. Clear outside. Good. Weak as a baby. You're lucky to be alive. If I ever get to be a family man, remind me to make you my family doctor. What about him? Well, he's been a pretty good guy, huh? Yeah, but we got a full card. Tie him up. Just a minute. You're not being fair. Now, wait a minute. How am I going to get out of here? Stop it, will you? Nobody finds this place. It'll be in a pretty rough spot. We can't let him go until we get a good head start. Well, we could send back word to his wife tomorrow. Yeah. Don't mind, Doc. I like to lend a little bit your hat and coat. You see, my mother always told me if I go out in bad weather and I'm without an overcoat, I could get cold. So, forgive me. You four. Fan out, see what's along the road between the sharp turn and the gas station. You stay here and help me. We'll meet at the car. I'm sorry I have to go slow, but I'm paying for the help. Let's go. Ready? Wait a minute. That guy works himself loose, or that gag falls out of his mouth, and he starts to holler we're in trouble.
takes all kinds to make a world. Especially suckers. Come on, give me a hand. that officers aided by specially trained dogs have discovered the body of Dr. Lewis Barnes in a deserted mine shaft, almost within the shadows of the prison walls. State police and highway patrol have been alerted to be on the lookout for the doctor's car. Is this your idea of a level deal? It's my idea of playing safe. You gotta kill to go free and you gotta kill to stay free. The first one of you guys forgets it won't even live long enough to regret it. We're dumping you right now, buster. Money or no money. Don't start big fight now. The doctor's dead anyway. We're all in the same boat, no? Okay. But no more moves until you get a full vote from the membership. You understand? One thing for sure, we gotta ditch this car right now. It's burning up. Very good. <laughs> good evening, my friend. You would like maybe to play a little gin rummy? Hmm? folks. If everybody will cooperate, we can get our business done quickly and nobody will get hurt. You, get over under the stairs. Now look! Get over there. You, you, you. 
You too. Get over under the stairs. All right, start taking off your clothes. You too. Hurry up. About this, he'd kill you. No questions, just kill you. Hey, Monk, you've been yakking about food long enough. Let's see some of it. Right. Yeah, don't be in such a hurry. Empty your pockets, my son. Excuse me. The watch, too. No, Vance, it's just the cash. Yes, I know. But this is for me. Now, wait a minute. Shut up. Come here, baby doll. I ain't gonna eat you up. No, no, please you don't. You shut up, too. <laughs> Boy, after eight years, a little chicken like you tastes pretty good. Vance says we gotta make tracks. We ain't got time for that. A man always got time for a pretty girl. Maybe you forget. Here, for an appetizer. <laughs> Bet you don't get chicken like this at those Sunday school picnics you tell me about. <laughs> hey, a regular lover boy. In Phoenix, I get you one make three like this. Don't mind him. He's a little cuckoo. He don't know who he is. Why should he know what he wants? Hey, Ma, hurry it up. We're starving. Coming right up. Oh, boy, this is for me. Hey, here, fellas. Ciao. Here comes good time Charlie. Hey. <laughs> Swanee, go over by the door. Keep an eye open. As soon as we eat, we change in shape. Huh? Yeah. Oh, boy, it's my best color. Where's the monk? Hey, monk, look at me. These cars. Give me the gun. Get those guys out of sight. Get them up on the balcony, quick. couple of cops on their way in here. If one of you so much as coughs to make them suspicious, there's gonna be a bunch of corpses up there on that balcony. Remember, we got nothing to lose. All right, you two, sit down. Look like you was enjoying it. Hi, Ed. Hello, Frank. A couple of bottles of pot. Coming up. It was dusty out there tonight. Yeah, it must be. How's it coming, Frank? Are you still chasing those convicts? They sure got us hopping. We got all the highways covered, though. If they're still in that doctor's car, we'll get them. I sure hope you do. Sort of quiet in here, isn't it? Yeah, well, sort of quiet, yeah. Hi, Henry. Hi. Uh, yeah?
Nothing. Nothing. You know Orville Mercott, one of those prison guards that got killed? Yes, I think I do. He used to be a highway patrol guy. Uh -huh. Took a prison job. <laughs> he figured it would be safer. You don't say. Well, you can't figure all the angles, can you? The luck some people have. Isn't that right? Well, back to the grind. See you later, yeah. Morris. Smart. Who wants that gray sedan out there? Bring the car up. Mug, you and Billy grab some gub. Remember, I give Ed a $5 bill and he didn't give me back my change. You go ahead, I'll catch up. Okay. Everybody stay where you are and keep quiet. Let's go. You will excuse me, but this will look much better on my girl in Phoenix. Forgive me. Let's get out of here! You think I make it? Sure, sure, you make it. Hang on to me. You good guy, Joe. Get going! Go quick. They leave you. I spit in their eye. Now what? Let's see what's holding it up.
I don't remember seeing you get on. Where are you going? Springdale. Springdale? Two? Five. These two and the kid up front there. Oh? That'll be $85, including tax. What's the next stop? Dexter, 5, 10 a.m. Your friend paid for you. What's happening? Nothing. We're just backing up on a siding. You must have been having a bad dream. Hmm? Yeah, I was. The train stopped once before, you know, but you didn't wake up. I did? Yes, I uh, asked the conductor. He said we were being switched over to a westbound track. And, well, there's a storm in the mountains, and all the schedules are mixed up. Well, what are we waiting for now? Why don't we get going? Well, I don't know. Oh. Are you going far? I mean, very far? Um, San Francisco. was doing when I had your hat? I'd be a pretty bright guy if I did, wouldn't I? <laughs> yes, you, you would. I was trying to figure out your last name. You were? Mm hmm I know your first name and middle name, you know. What do you mean? Sure. You're Francis Xavier. I saw the initials in your hat band, FXO, and, well, I've never seen an FX yet that didn't stand for Francis Xavier. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's right. <laughs> Like a sandwich? Oh, um, no, no thanks. Well, I really have more than enough. I don't know why I made so many. Well, thank you. It's peanut butter. Yeah. Hey, 
we are. Oh. Some trains they got here. This car must be 100 years old. Here, take, take this one. Thank you. Uh, remind me to duck this setup next time. You go to San Francisco a lot, hmm? We all. Um, yeah, quite a bit. Gee, I've never been any place much. Except St. Louis. St. Louis? What do you mm -hmm. know? I was uh, studying music there at the conservatory. I was going to be a singer. Hey, I'll bet you're good. That's what everyone thought. Everyone in Dexter. The whole town raised a fund to send me to St. Louis. I, I could have stayed a whole year. But you didn't? It didn't take the conservatory that long to find out I wasn't good enough. Come on. I'm sorry. Well, I don't mind really so much. At least I know now. Think how terrible it would have been if I'd gone all through my life thinking I was a great singer and never really having the chance to find out. Yeah, I see. Well, this way, I, I've saved the town money. I can give it all back except for the three weeks of it. It's funny, though, isn't it? What is? Well, you, you go away with a high school band playing come back like this. Oh. That's Rocky Glen. We had our graduation dance there. You're in home territory now. Yes. We'll be in Dexter in about 10 minutes. How was that graduation dance fun, huh? Do you like dancing? I think so. I haven't done too much. Your business takes up a lot of your time. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess that, that's it. What's the matter with that kid? Is he stupid or something? It's all that kind he's giving that blood. So listen, then. Would you like to step out on the back platform for a minute? All right, if you like. I could use a breath of fresh air. Dexter with you. What do you say? Could you put me up for a day or so? If you got off? Well, gee, Francis, you said you are getting off at San Francisco. My name's not Francis. It's William Lang. I know this don't make sense to you. I'll explain later. We haven't got much time. What do you say? Well, I'll do my best. I guess so sure I can. Good. Good. Well, we're slowing up. Let's go back to our seats. I'll, I'll help you off. All right. You certainly are impulsive. Yeah, I guess I am. What are you doing with that mouse? You think I talked to a girl? Dexter, that you, miss? Not this trip. Drop her. Sure, Van, whatever you say. I'll just help her off. No harm in being polite, is it? Don't overdo it. Okay, okay. Get me the police. Just helping off the train. He took his radio. He's ducking, I tell you. Look, I'll meet you in front of the station in ten minutes. Wait for me there.
Busted open, bleeding like a stuck pig. I'm okay. Just out of breath. All we gotta do is grab one of those cars. Look, if you wanna leave a trail of blood behind you, do it yourself. Leave us out of it. I'm sick of that line, Quinn. You're the only one that's belly aching, and you're in on a pass anyway, so lay off. Ah, no, you got it all wrong. You're the one in on a pass on borrowed time. Our time and our next. Are you looking for trouble? If I were you, I'd wait till I had two good hands before I started something. Let's go, Monk. What about the money? We already took the chances. We ought to get our dough. Besides, it's only a four-way split now. Yeah, our stock keeps going up. I guess you're right, Monk. We gotta protect our investment.
You gonna make it, Van? Sure, I'll make it. You guys are gonna see that I make it. In case you don't, just where in the mountains you got that money stashed? Only time you'll ever see that money is when I show it to you. But suppose you don't make it, where'll we be? Save your breath, monk. What do you think we are? The escape convicts. That's right, lady. You live around here? Yes. Where? On a farm up the road. Who else lives with you? Just my mother and us. Where's the kid's old man? He doesn't have one. You got a car? A truck? Look, lady, we don't want to hurt you, but we're in kind of a spot. Then get out of it yourselves. Leave decent people alone. We'd like to, but you walked in on us. You're gonna have some guests for a couple of hours. I don't want you in my house. Don't make no difference what you want or what you don't want. If I give you the truck, will you go away? Sure, we'll go away. Go ahead, Sonny. Lead the way. Get the stuff. Come on, we haven't got all day. There's a wheel missing. Where's the wheel? It's the... We're not playing games. Here, I'll handle this. Where's the wheel, lady? It's not only yourself, it's your ma and your kid. It broke the other day. It's at the service station in the village. When is it supposed to be back? Today or tomorrow. We'll wait. I can use a breather. And some grub. Come on, old lady. Let's see what you got on the stove. What's the matter with you people? Don't you understand English? Come on. Help! 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 You better tell your ma not to try that again. Do as they say, Mama. Now, that's playing it smart. You're acting like a child. You're a grown woman. You keep playing it that way, and I'll see that nobody gets rough. All right. What's your name? Alice Moshe. This your kid? Go in the house to me. I take care of him. He thinks I'm his mother. You married? No. Lived here long? It's my mother's place. I moved back about two years ago. I didn't think you were strictly a farm gal. Is that meant to be a compliment? Yeah, I suppose it was. You mind? What'd you do to be sent to prison? I was a thief. Oh. A simple O oh doesn't begin to cover it. The decision to become a thief is not a simple thing. A lot of thinking goes into it. At first, I guess, you think you're smarter than the rest, and you'll never get caught. But you always do. Second is the money you want, money that belongs to someone else. Sound like you're sorry you got yourself into this mess. Maybe I am. But feeling sorry for yourself doesn't mean a thing. There's no road back. There are no yesterdays, there's no tomorrows. There's only today. Every day you live is a day before you die. Does that make any sense to you? Yes. Well, 
sorry, Miss, for you. I didn't know those things were still in use. We always keep one handy in case the power goes out. It does every time it storms a little. The almanac says we're due for one. Where are you going? I'm just going to put this lamp in the kitchen where it belongs. Why don't you settle down in one place and stay there? It's going to be a long night. What are you up to? I'm putting the kid to bed where he belongs. Ah, this is for me. When I get my share of Van's loot, I'm gonna open me a deluxe hash house. Got any more eggs, Grandma? No, eggs cost money. Chickens have to be fed. Ah, come on. How much can a chicken eat? All right, dig in. How you feel, Van? The stiffest boy. Where's Joe and the girl? They went in town, after wheel. In broad daylight, he's sticking his neck way out. Ah, relax, Van. He'll be back. How do you want your eggs? Staring at you or over easy? Anyway. If those policemen picked you up, that would be the end of my mother and son, wouldn't it? And me. You deserve it. They don't. Yeah, I see what you mean. Hey, wait a minute. Son. All right, so he is my son. You said you weren't married. I wasn't. Well, what's all this song and dance for, then? What should I tell people? You're on the run yourself. Same as me. No. I stopped running. Come on, we're in the clear now. Hi, Alice. Hello, Cy. How you been? Uh, uh, how's Timmy? Fine. Is Fred around? Oh, uh, he went into town to make a few pickups. How about my wheel? That's one of the things Fred went into town for. Had to get the rim welded. Oh. This is my cousin, Joe Barker from Portland. Cy Ellaby. Uh, howdy. Hi. I thought we could pick up the wheel now while I had Joe to help me bring it back. Well, Fred can drop it around tonight when he gets back. He's got a date with you for tonight, hasn't he? Well, it wasn't really definite. Well, Fred thinks it was. <laughs> he figured on bringing the wheel out then, I'm sure. Okay, tell him to bring it around after dinner. Okie dokie. Say, have you got a map of these parts? I always like to know where I'm at. Sure thing. Thanks. Don't mention it. Part of the service. You don't believe in signs, do you? Not this one. Couldn't be that there's an angry farmer in there, could there, with a shotgun, maybe? Look, I'm not trying to trap you. I just thought it best to keep off the road. Oh. Thanks for thinking of me. That's all right. Maybe I'm beginning to feel sorry for you. Think of a card, Timmy. Jack of spades. 
Think of another. Jack of spades. How'd you learn to do that? Ah, a pal of mine showed me. We was roommates. How long did it take you? About 18 months. But I wasn't watching too close. Here, you practice it for a while. Jimmy, hush to boxing. Got to see you. Yeah. Yeah. What's eating you, Swanee? You must have played that tune 20 times already. I like it. How long does it take to pick up a wheel? You want a man to go fast, don't send him with a woman. That's the best water I ever tasted. When I was a kid, I used to walk this extra half mile, just so I wouldn't have to drink our own well water. We do crazy things when we're kids. We sure do. I used to think the world was my oyster. All I had to do was reach out for it. Yeah. All kids think that, I guess. Then we grow up. He was pretty no good, huh? You know, Joe, sometimes I think that he was no worse than the others. I just don't think men are any good. I wish I could argue for our side, but with the company I've been keeping lately, I feel the same way. You surprise me. Oh, don't take that as a blanket recommendation for the female sex. You know, you're not exactly typical. I've known the other kind, too. That makes us even. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, this old world can be pretty rough on us sometimes. I got out of one kind of a prison, you got out of another. Where are we? I'm satisfied. No, Joe. Why not? I don't know. It's... it's just that... Just that I'm a con, is that it? No, Joe, that's not it. Well, what? This is the way it was before. I wanted it different. you take from me? It take a whole year to save. I didn't take your money. Take you, it easy. You got my $400. Give back. You got our money? It is for a boys' school. All right, let's get this over with. One of you guys got her dough, give it back. Give her money back to her, Swanee. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you put your hands on me. Tell him to give it back to her, I'll kill him. Tell him yourself. Give her a dough back, Swanee. say he's going to kill Swanee. What's the matter, fellas? The club breaking up? Put it away, Mark. I just drove up. In what? Jeep. We'll stay with the truck. Monk, you and Swanee, get the old lady and the kid upstairs. Keep them quiet. You take care of the dame. They'll be all right. Keep them outside if you can.
Hi, Alice. I brought your wheel. Hello, Fred. I'll put it on for you now. I thought maybe you'd like to come over to the barn with me. Keep me company while I work. You needn't get yourself all dirty, Fred. A hired man's coming over in the morning to do the chores. I'll be glad to do it. I know. Thanks just the same. I hear you got company. Relations. Just one. A cousin of mine. I haven't seen him in a long time. First cousin, as a matter of fact. Gee, I'd like to meet him. I'd like to say hello to your ma, too. Well, she's upstairs. But if you'd like to come in for a few minutes and say hello to my... to Joe... Last time I saw you, Ma, she wasn't feeling too well. This is my cousin, Joe Barker. This is Fred Summerfield. I'm pleased to meet you, Joe. All right. Yep. You sure look like the family. Yeah, you couldn't mistake it. Yeah, that's what everybody says. I'm sorry I missed you this afternoon, but I got roped in by a bunch of young fellas. They wanted me to referee a wrestling match. I wound up wrestling a winner myself. I'll bet you won, Fred. <laughs> no, I'm afraid I lost. It's been a long time since I wrestled. Chew? No. Something wrong with your ma, Alice? No, she's just resting. Well, then it'll be all right if we leave it with Timmy while we go to the picture show. I really don't feel like going to a picture tonight, Fred. Well, you were real anxious when I talked to you yesterday. Well, it's just that Joe came in rather unexpectedly. Well, if your ma's all right, let's take Joe the movie with us. Show him the little old village we got down here. I think Joe's tired from traveling. Well, if I can't get any customers for the movie house, we can all go in the front room and breeze a while. Where are you from, Joe? Up north. Oh, yeah. Portland, I think I heard. Right. Look, Fred, Timmy's been running a little temperature today. I really hate to break our date, but everything is in such a mess around here that... I never come over before, but what I couldn't help out a little mess. I know, Fred. There's something wrong, Alice. Something you don't want to talk about? No. Fred! Fred! Something is wrong, Alice. What is it? Yes, something's wrong. It's you. Don't you know when you're not wanted? Get out of my way. You talk pretty tough. Are you? How long can a guy wait to take a hint? Alice, who are they? Shut up. Where'd you leave the wheel? What's it to you? It's outside by his car. Well, at least I can thank you for bringing it. So, thanks. <laughs> Take him upstairs and lock him up somewhere. Coming. We go back in house. I'm sorry, Mrs. Moshe, but you're going to have to wait in the barn where the boys can keep an eye on you. Go ahead, Mama. Alice, I'll make it up to you someday. Do you really think there'll be a someday, Joe? There will be if I come out of this alive. You really believe that, don't you? Look, Alice, I strung along with this mob for one reason, money. There's a lot of it stashed up in those mountains, and one-fourth of it's mine. What kind of money, Joe? Big money, a fortune. I said what kind of money, Joe? Okay, so it's hot. Who cares? Who asks you where you get the money as long as you have it? Having it is what counts. Oh, Joe. Money's a lot like love. There's a dirty kind, a clean kind. No good comes out of the dirty kind. We're ready, Joe. Break it off. Don't go, Joe. I'll be back. Me forgetting that. It's sitting on the kitchen table. Well, hurry up.
It's getting cold. It'll be snowing up higher. Maybe we should wait. What for? The cops? It's the first lucky break we got. It's tough for us, it'll be tougher for them. We're not exactly prepared for winter sports. A little snow won't hurt you. Maybe not, but we won't be able to wheel this heat through it. We'll walk. Just over that ridge, a bald-faced rock. Get up, Swanee. Get up!
start digging. You'll find a chisel mark in the center of that rock. Dig about a foot out. Money's no good for you, Joe boy. You like it too well. You wouldn't have anything left to live for. So long, sucker. Yeah. Are you listening? A couple of linemen passed an old truck going up King Mountain about uh, five this morning. Yeah. It answered the description of the stolen truck, all right. No, no, I ain't going up after him. I'll catch him coming down. There's no other road out of them parts. Goodbye. <laughs> 